Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss and uh, learn how to make updatable result set. So let's uh, first discuss theory part and then after we'll go for the hands-on. Uh, if a result set is updatable, you can update the columns of each row in a result set. You can do so using the many update uh, methods uh, available on the result set so there is a lot of update method for the different data types in result set and once you get the result set object then you can call update like if your column value is a string then update a string uh, if your column value is varchar then corresponding data type in java is a string so you can call a result set object dot update a string you can pass the column name and corresponding value you what you want to update if you want to update age then you will like is is an integer so result dot update int and you pass the column name as well as updated value similarly you can uh, update some other value and finally other column value and finally you will have to call update row so uh, this will trigger internally commit and uh, because auto commit in jdbc is true and that will update data into the database you can also update the column using the column index instead of column name so here is an example so here we have given the column name right instead of column name if you know the column index then you can pass the column index so first first column this index one for second two something like this so you can update by index as well notice the update update row call it is it is when update row is called that the database is updated with the values of the row id you do not call this method if you do not call this method the values updated in the result set are never sent to the database so if you call if you do not call this method but you are just setting the value then updation will not happen on the database side if you call update row inside a transaction the data is not actually committed to the database until the transaction is committed and if you are handling the transaction and in beginning if you are doing uh, connection dot auto commit false and if you are setting this value then explicitly you will have to issue the commit connection dot commit then this changes is going to reflect on the database side so this was just a theoretical discussion let's go for hands on so here i have created a project with updatable result set demo one and here i have a client program one entity uh, uh, model class so this is um, my model class and uh, corresponding database table is here i have a database table so employee underscore table and currently I have four records and here I want to make result set updatable. So first of all uh, in client program we will not uh, make uh, our re uh, prepare result set updatable right. So there are certain steps to make a result set updatable, updatable while creating the prepare statement we will have to pass few constants that we have discussed in the uh, previous video tutorial. So first of all intentionally we are not making any uh, we are not making result set updatable and see what error we are getting so here i have written a select statement then created a connection and created a prepare statement using try with resources so that these two, two resources you don't need to close explicitly in the finally block so this is this is the one of the java 7 feature now i get the result set from this prepare statement object and just i am making a while loop on it so let's a uh, while loop and here i i will do the result set dot next and inside this what I'm going to do I'm going to retrieve ID like employee uh, EMP, employee ID and employee ID RS uh, and ID is an integer so and here I'm going to pass column name employee underscore ID right and inside this i'm going to check if employee id which is coming from the database equal to the uh, this is the equivalent to the id which is coming from the client then i would like to update employee email address so we have a in result set we have a different setter method right update method for different data types so our email is worker on the database side so corresponding data type in java is a string right so i would call update a string 
and here either you can pass the column index or column level or column name so here i'm going to pass column name so column name is email itself if you go to the database then column name is email itself now email and here i'm going to pass new email address which is coming from the client All right and uh, after that of course you need to call a uh, update row right update row will have to call us this will not update uh, this is by doing this you just you are updating values in the real set but until unless you do not call this method this is not going to update on the database side and here after that you can see we can write email is update is simple I'm just uh, printing a message but uh, here uh, if you look into the prepare statement we haven't make uh, we haven't passed few constants uh, that makes result set updatable so if i run this application then we are going to get an exception right and error saying that uh, not updatable result set right so to make updatable result set we will have to pass so as uh, in previous demo i have shown you so if you look into the prepare statement then prepare statement Their statement has a uh, three overloaded method right uh, four basically overloaded method so here I'm going to use this overloaded method which uh, if you look into this then first SQL you will have to pass SQL parameter and uh, then result set type and then result set concurrency will have to pass pass so here if you use this method to create prepare statement then your result set would be uh, read only and forward only so we want to make it uh, updatable as well as scrollable so result set result set dot uh, i would say uh, uh, result set type uh, result set type scroll insensitive this is result set type so that our result set will be scrollable and next concept i'm going to pass result set dot conquer updatable so result set uh, conquer updatable now your now if you create your prepare statement in this way then and from this prepare statement if you create an any result set then your result set would be updatable so this is the way to create the updatable and scrollable result sets so if i run this then now saying email is updated and if you go and check the database so whether email is updated with new email address for Paul whose email ID is 3. So uh, we should get the email ID paul.cs2017 at the rate gmail.com uh, and whose ID is 3. So currently previous email address is paul.cs2017 at the rate yahoo.com if you refresh then look at here email is updated. Right so this is the way to create the updatable uh, updatable and as well as scrollable result set right now uh, result set has a various method as your result set is a scrollable so you can see uh, I mean, result set uh, that lot of method like you have a result set absolute if you pass like two then your result set will point to the second record something like that right and your second record is this this is second record so there are many more method that is called navigation method in result set that we will discuss theoretically and we'll see some practical demo as well in the previous demo in this video we have seen how to make result set updatable in next video i'll show you how to insert a row into database using uh, updatable result set itself this is also possible to insert a complete row instead of updating a record you can insert a complete row into the database using updatable result set itself so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial this code i am going to upload on the github so thanks